before the big surprise, what were we seeing? What we can see is GDP growth in the U.S. green, GDP growth in the U.K. green, and GDP growth in China green. So even though people were looking for a change coming into the surprise, the world wasn't all that bad. And if we look more closely at the U.S., and we look in particular at the job front, the story is the same. Unemployment running at 5%, if you talk to most economists, 5% plus or minus is full employment. So the world was not all bad coming into the big surprise. But then we had it. And as Steve said, you know, for those of you who are unhappy, you got to deal with it. Because every 107 years, the Cubs are going to win the World Series. <laughs> That's, that's just the way it is. Now, obviously, what we're talking about is Donald Trump and his uh, election. So why is it so impactful, and why have the markets reacted so strongly? One of the proposals coming from the administration is taxation. Today, corporate tax is running at 35%. Highest personal tax is 35% as well. The Trump administration proposal drops corporations' taxes to 15% and personal to 33 Before the election, the U.S. economy was running about 3% GDP growth, gross domestic product, all the goods and services that we create. Economists estimate that this change alone will add 1.5 points to our GDP, so if we're at 3 Four and a half, that's a 50% increase in our gross domestic product. So huge stimulus from a, a tax plan. But that's not the only stimulation that the Trump administration is talking about. Repatriation, and what is that? If you are a US-based company and you have businesses abroad, and we hope you make money, many companies are keeping those earnings offshore because to bring them back to the United States can imply onerous taxation. And how much are we talking about? $1.2 trillion of earnings sitting outside the United States. And there is some thought that the Trump administration might have uh, a fairly uh, benign tax plan in order to bring back some of this $1.2 trillion to our country so it can be invested in our businesses and grow. So another potentially very large stimulus to our economy. So with all that stimulation, uh, markets are not unaware. And what have we seen as a reaction? If we look at copper as a proxy for commodities, you can see a considerable spike most recently. And when people think of copper, they might think of the little dangly things in their pockets but obviously copper goes into electronics, goes into infrastructure, plumbing, et cetera. So the markets are seeing the stimulation plans coming out of the Trump administration and are reacting accordingly. Another Trump proposal, two for one. And what is this about? Deregulation. So what uh, the Trump administration has said is for every new one regulation, they want to take off two from existing, uh, the existing book. And why is this important? Well, it's important because I wrote something down here. So the GAO, the Government Accounting Office, said that from 2009, we have added 20,642 new regulations on the books. And the impact to our economy is a negative $110 billion. And to be sure, some regulations are good. We don't want to have Flint, Michigan's water. But at some point, there is a cost to those regulations. And we think that this change should be good for the economy. 